Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, and I'm a twin flame healer, but I help people integrate the cosmic influences, make sense of their journey, and really excel at it. We have a new moon coming up in May, what's called a black moon. Now, what the reason it's called that is because it's almost invisible. But I want to let you know this is a highly significant moon simply because it precedes the solstice. But new moons tend to be sort of, we can think of it as on the dark side. But I like to think of it as having to do with, you know, digging in the earthy part of you, the part of you that grows, things that you can actually utilize for your own self-love, your own self-stimulation. Five things to know about this new moon. First of all, this new moon is in Taurus, which is some stubborn energy, stubborn like a bull. But there's some other influences that are highly significant, mainly Mars, Venus, and constellation of Gemini, which is the twins. So we've got masculine, feminine, and twin energy in there. So stay tuned here. This is, I would compare it to Empress energy. This is where the feminine people can really find that strength, find that earthy strength for themselves, and really begin to feel how to utilize this as the masculine rises. So one really large thing, this is for inner improvements. If you're a female, if you've ever been pregnant, if you're thinking about getting pregnant, if you've had children, you're entering menopause. I know this stuff is not glam. It's not glamorous, but this is a time for inner improvements with your gut, with your emotions. And you can ride this energy where have the men are from Mars and women are from Venus energies put us. So we're tending to rise above this and find our strength, find our inner strength, not just fortitude, but strengthen our tissues because there are a lot of physical body symptoms that go with this. Next, this is not just you, but you have to make it you, okay? You may think that you're at a completion point, but what we're completing is a cycle and now it's the beginning of another cycle so that the solstice is like a springboard. It's intended to launch you and it's intended to help you. What always happens before some of these influences, it gets turbulent, um, your power goes out, you know, it feels like things get unplugged, doors are being closed to you, but that is intentional so that you can move into the next level of your journey. You can also think of it this way because I want to remind you if you're watching, you're probably a twin flame or maybe you're wondering and you're scratching your head. But think of it this way. If one person in the coupledom does not take the wheel and focus and get you in the direction that you need to go, you're both lost. You do tend to follow each other and guide each other from the inside, not with a device because you need to be able to communicate over vast distances through the heart and by using what your gifts really are. The next thing is that as we enter into these cycles, you will begin to notice that there are sections of your body that are segments that are coming up to be healed. Now, I have noticed this trend from years ago, which is how I've been able to make things much more concise, focused, so that there is a clear direction and it doesn't feel like all these random things. Um, there's a big emphasis on the gut right now, um, gut being digestive issues and it's going to continue for a while because these things are gradual. I wish I had a magic wand and I could just doink people with it and have them be healed. That's been one of my wishes, but that just can't happen. Plus the person themselves has to participate. You have different biology than your other half, especially if they're in a different gender body. They have all their ancestors. You have your ancestors and it's on. How do you align these things? Well, there is a sense and sensibility there is a wisdom and your higher self will know this. What do you need and how can we put you in this cycle? So even if you feel pushed, squeezed, you feel intensity, please know it's there for a reason and it's not to harm you. It's not to hinder you. It's not to limit you. You will learn through your light body how to set boundaries from other people's stuff. And that is a big piece of this because your body shouldn't be affected by what everyone else is going through. You should be able to eat what you need. You should be able to travel and enjoy. The next thing is the best thing to do in this energy preceding 
the solstices, don't get started on something new. Now this is frequently an admonishment we hear right around a Mercury retrograde, but this is different. This is a little bit like when you're standing and waiting for the elevator doors to open and those elevator doors need to open so that you can step in and go to the next level. If you're going off half cocked and you're just starting something or you're thinking of quitting, quitting a job, I would say pump the brakes, hold your horses. It may not be the timing for it, although it is the time to get your ducks in a row and do it sensibly. What does that mean? You can't just go into your boss as satisfying as it may be and say, I quit, I'm out, deal with it. We do see this happening. We see people going on strikes. We see people having what I call le petit rebellion. They're having small little rebellions where they're refusing. Why? Because they haven't been able to adjust some stuff and some of that is out of their hands. But when people begin to feel this, that means that's going to start to be their get up and go day. They may actually have two more months of lining up their ducks, getting all their things in a row and having a proper alignment for success. Now that can throw people off. So I would say, don't be hasty. There, you, your light body and your higher self will always help you to leap forward. That is when you make quantum leaps forward. That is about quantum time because whatever time you think you're losing, you're able to make it up. And that happens with you in a whole different level as you settle back down to earth to tend to your life. Um, Other people and groups may influence on you. So some of those influences can be disrupted. Like, let me give you an example. You want to go on a trip, but the airlines are going on strike or the airline that you book done is going on strike. What happens though, is this going to throw a wrench into your life? Because this is about you. Do you have the ability to be fluid like water and like swim around those obstacles or even better, have your higher self help you skim over and find another solution? It can happen when you use your light body because you do have those three level aspects of yourself. You have your physical self, you have your non-physical self, and you have your higher self all looking out for you. Who even knows that they have this? We do, okay? We do because we had those activations. And that's the difference for twin flames. You know you had an activation about this. So please expect that as you work on this, that you have benevolent coincidences where you are actually saying things like all of a sudden this thing happened but then this person showed up and it was all not only good but it was even better than my mind could have planned it if you do the work the work is your light body your connections your integration your up leveling my channel is devoted to being a twin flame healer teacher and guide to help you actually enjoy your journey and get where you're going let me know what your questions are because i hope to plan these out with really solid answers for you in videos to come Please look at the links below for a special new moon workshop where we are going to focus on all these aspects of self-improvement. Plan to join and I hope to see you there. Please like, subscribe, share my video, put a positive comment. Thanks so much. Bye.